thank you. Now then, there is a new face in Holby City, and it's one we all remember from, well, has to be the UK's best-loved sitcom. Talking, of course, about Tessapeake Jones, who, for millions of Only Fools and Horses fans, will always be Del Boy's long-suffering partner, Raquel. I can't see you playing a policewoman. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps you're right. Although I wouldn't have had to do much research. My husband was a policeman. <laughs> You was a cop. Cop. Penny. Yeah, didn't I ever say? No, you did not. You never told me that. Oh, dear. <laughs> Do you see much of him? Do you see him at all? No, I haven't seen him for years and years. Why? Me? Nothing. No, I'm just curious, that's all. Oh, it's great to see you, Tessa. And such fond memories. I mean, you, you mustn't... You know, when you're part of something like that, that, that's so much part of all of our lives, it must be great to be... Do you know, just to look back on it. Yes, it's, it was a real privilege doing the programme was a real privilege and, and the feedback we still get because oh, yeah. it's on so much. And what's amazing is the new generations that are hooking into it, you know, mm. teenagers that are probably were, well, not even born when it first went out, <laughs> no. which makes us feel rather old, but they're, you know, now really beginning to sort of click into it and write to us, and it's, it's lovely. Oh, no, it's fantastic. Well, this new character in Holby, mm. slightly different, you would say, <laughs> a bit of a control freak and somebody that really... I, th I guess wanted to be on the other side. She wanted to be a surgeon, didn't she? She wanted to be a medical person. Yes. Didn't quite make it, so now she's an admin. Yes. But the boss. I mean, she 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 tr started training as a doctor. She became waylaid with a a, a man who she married. She gave it up. Uh, Enter. Man went off with yeah, uh, somebody he else. To see me. So mm. she felt very sort of Professor rejected Hope, and went into nursing. Did very very well at nursing, and this? then I think got to the point where she the was quite high up and thought, well, I, I need to move over into the into the office mm. management side of things. She's very ambitious now. She's yeah. got nothing else to lose. She has no family. No. Uh, I think there is a son, actually, which we explore, but he right. doesn't come into it. But she wants to prove herself now, and mm. she wants to keep this position. So she's out to, to well, really out to sort of be the boss and, and be in charge of everybody, I guess. That's quite daunting. Is it, is it like um, first day at school when you, when you go on to, especially something like this that's so well established, and it's like this sort of well-oiled machine, and you've got to kind of jump on yes, <laughs> and right absolutely, away. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> and I can't say enough that the company of people on Holby City are extraordinary, their commitment to the programme still, mm. their care that it's right, that they work very, very hard to make every episode as, as good as they possibly can. Mm. The welcome I got was fantastic from everybody, crew, actors, the directors, producers. It, it's been an it's absolute good. joy. Oh, and that makes all the difference. You'd been on the show before, though, hadn't you? You'd, a long time ago? A very, very long yeah. time ago. I died on the operating table, oh, I'm afraid. Oh, yes, dear. I had a heart problem and... I was one of the failure cases in oh, that particular episode, right. but that was a very long time ago. But that's quite good about Hall because it's not always, it doesn't always work out, does it, for no. the patients? And, and, and certainly doesn't work out for the people with their lovely, very complicated relationships that they all have with one another. And I have to say, it doesn't always work out for people's jobs, as we'll see over the next few weeks with oh. Imelda in charge. Uh-oh. Mm. Uh-oh. So that's A few changes be... are ahead. Yes. But she's kind of bonded with, with Chantelle, isn't she? She's kind of bonded there. That, that was quite interesting, the way that the two of them have because you wouldn't expect person. that, really. I don't like no, yeah, I think it's quite uh, unlikely, isn't I it? I think because she was a nurse, she, she hooks in very much to the, to the nurses. Right. Uh, she sees life from their point of view in the hospital. Mm. Right. She's got a bit of a thing about consultants being arrogant and not really, you know, slightly losing a sense of themselves, which, right. as we all know, in hospitals can happen. It can, if you're, uh, and if, I think unless she, you're very lucky. That's right. She's, she's very defensive of mm. nurses not perhaps getting, getting always the due credit that they should get for the right. patient care that they give. OK. And with you being on TV... And, and obviously we know you very well from, from Only Fools and Horses, but with, with this one, do kids watch? Do your children watch? Do they, do they see? Are you just mum? Or do they... I am just mum. No, right. no, they don't yeah. watch, but, but I think... <laughs> uh, in fact, that's not true. To my, my daughter has, has watched a bit of it with her uni students, but uh, my son is too busy on Xbox to be really interested in isn't you know, that the quite, important things in life. Isn't that quite good, though, that yeah, they're sort of great. unfazed by it all? Yeah. It's just that you're just mum, Absolutely, I, I think that's very, very healthy. Yeah. But 